Hello and welcome to this edition of News Hour here on CCTV International. I'm Vishin in Beijing. Topping this bulletin, Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper has arrived in Beijing for a five-day official visit to China. Today, he will meet President Hu Jintao and hold talks with Premier Wen Jiabao. Liu Yue has the story. This is Stephen Harper's first China visit since coming to office in 2006. He's scheduled to meet President Hu Jintao and hold talks with Premier Wen Jiabao on Thursday. On Friday, Harper will meet the country's top legislator Wu Bangguo. During his stay in Beijing, Harper is scheduled to visit the Great Wall and the Forbidden City, China's most cherished heritage sites. The Canadian Prime Minister will also visit the World Expo Park in Shanghai and then head to Hong Kong. The Chinese Foreign Ministry says Harper is accompanied by a 40-member entourage that includes International Trade Minister Stockwell Day and Agriculture Minister Gary Reid. Harper is the youngest Prime Minister in Canadian history. During his tenure, trust between China and Canada has decreased, as some Canadian officials have criticized China's domestic policies. Leaders of the two sides will have wide-ranging and in-depth discussions on threatening trade relations and international issues of common concern. Both sides hope Harper's visits will give a boost to their relationship. Liu Yue, CCTV. And now let's take a brief look at relations between China and Canada over the past 39 years. Canada was one of the first Western countries to establish diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China. The official start of relations came on October the 13th, 1970. Over the past 39 years, despite a few bumps, relations between China and Canada on the whole have witnessed a significant development. Thanks to the concerted efforts of leaders of several generations and people from various sectors of both countries, exchanges and cooperation in all fields have been growing steadily, with continued contacts at the highest levels. The two countries also have conducted close cooperation at the United Nations, the WTO, G20, APEC and other multilateral organizations. Starting in 1961, Canada was the first Western country to have trade relations with China. Since then, the two-way trade volume between China and Canada has increased dramatically. Business ties have expanded from single commodity trade to diversified cooperation in all sectors. Bilateral trade has grown from 150 million US dollars during the early days to 34.5 billion in 2008. China has become Canada's second largest trading partner, third largest export market, and the second largest source of imports. People to people exchanges and contacts at the local level have also been on the rise. A series of programs have been put into practice to encourage closer contact in education, culture, and other fields. China is now one of Canada's largest sources of immigrants and overseas students. Chinese has become the third largest language in Canada. A review of the growth of relations showed that although the two sides differ in national conditions and do not always see eye to eye on every issue, China and Canada should not let these differences stand in the way of their relationship.